welcome back to the Mr. Thinks More Show. I have a special, special gift for the world today on my show. The greens, not the color, the people. There you are, right? Look, look, one smiling, two smiling. There they go. There they go. This couple right here, the first couple I've ever had on the on the show like this. I've never interviewed a couple. You understand what I'm saying? I never interviewed a couple, so it's very special to this show and this platform. Now, I'm, you know, I'm a, I travel and I go to people's homes, so thank you for allowing me to come to your home. Yes, sir. So this is gonna be real simple. We're gonna talk a little bit. We're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna laugh, and then we're gonna share some things. So the greens. So I'm gonna have have you all introduce yourself individually, and then we'll move forward. So introduce yourself individually. Go ahead. I'm Margaret Green. I am the wife of Prophet Jermaine Green, and uh, I'm just happy to be here. Thank you so much, Mr. Think Smart, for having us thank on your you. show. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Brother Green. And I'm Prophet Green, uh, married to this beautiful woman of God. I'm glad to be here as well, Mr. Think Smart, my brother. <laughs> From another mother, I didn't say nothing. Been knowing me a long time. Yes, sir. A long time. So, I want to start off with just saying, you know, um, you all are doing so many great things together as a couple. Uh, you just told me your story on how y'all met, and it's amazing. I wish y'all could see it, but y'all wasn't there. So, I was there for the moment, so it was for me, not you. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, uh, and it was beautiful. It's beautiful how it all came together. <clears throat> but, moving forward, like, you all are blossoming together and y'all grow from one another. So in a relationship, in a courtship, what would be the first thing you see? Like, you, well, I know. You just, y'all just told me. But tell the world, what's, what do you have to have that, uh, what, what comes first? It was friendship. Mm -hmm, definitely. So friendship should be the foundation of uh, a relationship as far as somebody that's potential, um, you know, person that you want to marry and the reason why is because they're going to be ups and downs riffs mm -hmm. and we know good friends they can fall out and come back together yes mm -hmm. that's why it's so important to have that because uh when things you know come up and, and show up um you know besides praying and asking god to help you you have a foundation that you can go back to mm -hmm. um you know, a good friend can hold secrets mm -hmm. and, and, can, and are very trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And so that's very important. If you can't be comfortable, you know, with a person, you know, holding secrets or being trustworthy, um, then you're probably with the wrong person. Um, that's I, I, you deep, know, I, deep, wouldn't, brother. I wouldn't want to uh, allow uh, anybody in my life that I can't be comfortable with mm -hmm. uh, be myself. That's so right. That's, right. that's what's good about us. That's this is my friend, y'all. Yeah. For real. She fine, but it's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good. I love it. I, I love it. Say the same thing about property. <clears throat> but for me, it's more so uh, finding a safe place. You want to be able to know that you're in a safe place with mm -hmm. a person. Mm -hmm. And if you can't trust that for like Prophet said with your secrets, you know, with the things, you know, that that's that you hold dearest to you, then why the relationship mm -hmm. you know always find the purpose of the relationship first mm -hmm. you know like we said you know looks is great you know you gotta have that right we got Ooh, got to y'all see be, i have to have you gotta uh. have some type of some type of attraction but when the attraction goes away then what you have to have something foundational right. to stand on and i'm not talking about social media type relationships i'm not talking about pictures and posts and comments i'm talking about what goes on behind closed doors mm. i'm talking about that solid foundation where you say no matter what happens we're together mm -hmm. we're binding we're clyde we're ride or die mm -hmm. and that's what you develop first yeah and you know and i'll say this as well you know you can't fake uh, a good relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the cameras are on, or you know, of course, it's easy on like social media pa platforms because you know people don't get a chance to see. Moment. Yeah, they don't get a chance to see uh, reality. And so, uh, one thing about a true relationship, people can feel, literally feel, uh, if something is real or fake. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the point of putting on a show mm -hmm. for people, then going home and being miserable? Uh, she said something that was very powerful, a safe place. We got enough health that we got to fight when we leave the house. Yeah. Your house should be a house of peace. That's why it's so important that you 
you get somebody, um, like I said, that is a friend that knows, uh, you know, the, the ins and outs, the things about you. They care about, you know, things that you like and dislike. Yeah. So the common goal is peace. And that's one thing about us. We try to make sure that when, you know, our house is going to be a house of peace. Mm -hmm. You know, we got the church, the, mm -hmm. you know, house of prayer. Mm -hmm. And then we got the house, our house, a house of peace. Mm -hmm. um, when I come into my house, it's my kingdom. And this is my queen. And so the king is going to have peace, just like the queen. Because he ordained it. Boom. This is, that is what it is. Yes, sir. Yes. So, <clears throat> so let me ask you this. So, because you all are not just uh, spiritual men and, men and women of God. They strong, y'all. They strong. But the business side. Yeah. How is that? Because both of you all are prophets. <laughs> so y'all see so much in each other. Then God might give one to use that gift for it, you know, and then the, yes, the, you know, the confirmation. So business-wise, we, we already know who the energetic one is. <laughs> we already know that is, and we know who to like, yeah, okay, let's do this, baby. I got it. <laughs> but um, how is that in business-wise? Because I know sometimes, you know, um, it can be a little strange. Yeah. So how, how is that? Like, I know, because you got six books I just, I thought you only had like two or three. You got six, six Yay. books. Right, six <laughs> books. Go get book now. Go Come buy on. it now. Go buy it now. Mm -hmm. Buy it now. Then you have an album. Yeah. Like, you go get it. But how is that business wise, you know? Because I know, like, somebody like me, try to stay before the Lord. Um, no matter what, where is it? I'm coming in the car, I'm in my, wherever. I, I, I build my mantle and I'm going to make it. I'm going to put, I'm going to do that. Uh, Prophet told me that a long time ago. Wherever you go, Joe, make sure you 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 have your you build your mantle and you have that place of prayer. But as as a couple, how do y'all do that? Because I know sometimes it can be. Is it a strain? Well, we prioritize, right? Gotcha. It's what's important. What's mm -hmm. first? Family is ministry. Mm -hmm. So family will always be first. Gotcha. Before there was any business, mm -hmm. um, before there was any ministry, it's it was family. When God, God created Adam, guess what? Adam already had a garden before Eve even came. She just added to the vision. Mm -hmm. And so I have the mindset, like, I'm adding to the vision. So whatever idea, whether it's creative, whether it's business, I'm mm -hmm. adding to the business, to the, I'm sorry, well, to the business of the home, but to the vision of the home and to what the Lord has already released to my husband. Mm -hmm. So if I'm adding to it, there's no conflict because That's there's right. no divergence because right. we're working together. Gotcha. Yeah, and I'll say this uh, to every man, uh, you should always seek God for the vision of your home and family. Um, the Lord spoke to me when we first got together <laughs> yeah. uh, as far as marriage within my probably the first three months. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord spoke to me and he uh, told me to make sure that I uh, pretty much put everything down, any ambition, any goals to set them to the side. And push hers. Now, mm. Joe, listen, Mr. Think, <laughs> listen, Mr. Think Smart. I was like, "Are you sure God said that?" Because, you know, mm -hmm. uh, yep. Once you give me the green light to go, I'm just like you. I'm going. I'm gonna go. I'm going. Yeah, because at, at one point in time, she was trying to, you know, push me, do this, do that, mm -hmm. and so wasn't anything, you know, wasn't nothing wrong with that. She was just being a help me. Uh, but uh, in prayer, the Lord. Uh, begin to give me this instructions on what to do. And so uh, he said to, you know, let her go first. And so that's what we've been doing. I've been pushing her to, to, to just do everything that, you know, that's in her, anything that God gives. I've been just that support and really trying to help her uh, to develop. Uh, there are areas of uh, ministry, areas uh, in her life that God wanted to strengthen. So it was more than just her just being gifted but God was also doing something with her person her character yeah. mm -hmm. and he was allowing me to be that conduit um, to be that teacher to be that you know leader uh, and it needs to be established and so here's one thing I'll say um, if you're not secure mm -hmm. uh, this won't work for you <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, because yeah. insecurity breeds competition and I'm not in com competition with my wife. We work together. And let me just say this to anyone that's struggling with that. My wife is a product of the ministry that God gave me. 
So anything she does well, it's a merit badge that comes on my chest. Mm -hmm. I like so that. I can walk just as proud as anybody else because she's a product of what God has given me to teach, train, and and do whatever it is that he's put for, mm -hmm. put for me to do on earth. Mm -hmm. So in essence, my wife is a walking manifestation of the ministry God gave me. And what a lot of people don't know <laughs> is this, and um, I'll be very transparent in saying this, when me, when me and Prophet first got married, um, he married into a lot of trauma. Mm -hmm. And so pushing me first, it was almost like the Lord allowed him not to just be the husband, but he allowed him to be the counselor. He allowed him to be the father and all of these things that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. um, he allowed him to um, it's like strategically help fill those voids. You know, it, it's like God gave him the exact recipe mm -hmm. for me, what I needed, mm -hmm. because I didn't get pushed. You know, growing up, you know, being molested and uh, commit, almost committing suicide. Well, I did commit suicide at eight years old. I died and, you know, they brought me back. and. You know, all of these different things that I experienced, you know, and I long for like a father. Mm -hmm. And so the the plan that God gave him, when I say it, it met those needs. So um, one on the outside would say, man, he's pushing his wife to do everything. But it wasn't that he's, he was pushing me to do everything. It was that God was filling those voids that I did not, that, you know, the holes that were mm -hmm. missing from when I was a child. I mean, a as a child, child right. yes. Right. I get so. it. That's deep. <laughs> and I had to get delivered. Like I, like the first three years was right. like deliverance, like mass deliverance. I had I when I took God unpacked so many bags. I didn't even realize mm -hmm. as much as I was put together on the outside mm -hmm. and I could prophesy and I could minister, but I had so many. I had so much baggage. Mm -hmm. You know, I had like luggage from Walmart, Target, and <laughs> Marshalls. I had all these bags. All these bags. All these baggage. You know, and and you but God says I I need to unpack this stuff. Right. And He said, and I, I would have love for you to have it unpacked before you got married but listen i got somebody who's going to help you unpack this stuff so this is not even about marriage it's about healing it's mm. about deliverance and and then too god allowed somebody i could trust mm -hmm. you know and so friendship friendship Friend we call. built that relationship so i was able now to allow him to come in mm. to see my wounds mm -hmm. right because we don't want people to see our wounds when we you know right. uh when we don't trust people right mm -hmm. and so god allowed him that space to come in and when i say even though it took three years you know for all of that baggage you know to get put you know all that stuff in there you know we had to be uh, i mean i had i had purse purses full of like hurt and pain and, and, Come on, uh, I get and it. so um i thank god for that and but that's the friendship side of the relationship just mm -hmm. think um if we didn't if we weren't friends before that and i had all that baggage all that hurt and all that pain that i carried with me in a relationship we would be divorced today right mm -hmm. because if you don't know who you are in a relationship how can you make somebody else happy if you're not happy Mm -hmm. If you don't know you, how can you help somebody else be the best that they can be? We're help me. We're help me, right? right. Mm -hmm. So how am I helping you if I can't help myself? Yeah. Woo! That's a lot. That's a word for somebody. I don't know who's gonna catch it. I <laughs> caught it. But I hope y'all caught it. Um so let's move forward. So then the business starts to flourish. Yes. yes. Like it when I say I watch out and I see the flow. <laughs> And just for you to say that, people probably didn't even know where all of that came from. Because <clears throat> what you just said was, he helped you birth that. Yeah. To where it's going. Lord, God, it's going everywhere. Y'all going to be on TV. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> the Greens. We, we receiving. Coming, coming soon. Yeah. Coming soon. We receiving. Man, it's going to be it's gonna be, we receive it's gonna, it's gonna be amazing. Now, they the prophets now. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> nah, they, don't get started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. You know I would get I, I know you will. <laughs> you don't care if the camera roll or yeah, not. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I know. <laughs> um, so, let's, let's, in, let's go back into this. So, you built this empire, king and queen. Come on here. And you're adding on to the empire. What do you all, uh, if you could say it, what do you all... Uh, where do you all see your vision as for now? We know God will give you the more. We talked about that. But where do you all see the vision of what you're all doing to now, right now together? 
pour y assez égaux. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, every kingdom has to be uh, first uh, solidified uh, in house, mm -hmm. and so we're, you know, as we start to uh, continue to polish our in house, mm -hmm. uh, the in house part of the kingdom. Next thing, we're going out, mm -hmm. and uh, it's more uh, ministry, uh, more outreach. Mm -hmm. uh, we had visions, uh, different visions, different plans. Uh, my wife. Um, You know, she went through some um, traumatic times and there's some homes and different things, different things that we have planned. I don't want to just share everything, but yeah, I want right, to right. say that there's some things that we have that are really going for outreach. Yes. Um, as God fixes or solidifies us here, uh, the overflow, we understand, is for outside. Um, so we're going to uh, conquer the land. Um, the Lord wants us to outreach um make the wealth generational too yeah and, mm -hmm. and well that's that's big uh, i'm gonna mm -hmm. say this uh the kingdom is about conquering and yes. so that's where we are uh, the next phase of the green household is we're going to start to conquer land territory mm -hmm. uh, we're going to begin to um, make visible uh our territory the things that god has called us to do so uh outreach is It's very big for us, uh, so uh, that's the next phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think? Even though we're already doing outreach, mm -hmm. um, but more outreach. We're gonna do more outreach, um, because really the Lord is really, you know, just really, like Prophet said, you know, we don't want to say a lot, right. um, but sometimes the Lord will have you build in silence. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, so, and sometimes He allows you to build in silence because He doesn't want any interruptions. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we understand that, you know, the, mm -hmm. the where, we, uh, where we're headed, mm -hmm. whether it's to the pastorship, which I, I try to stay away from that because I really don't want that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love just prophesying. Mm -hmm. I, I like you know, evangelizing mm -hmm. and I like business and, you know, but if God calls us to that, that's, that's, that's great. That's what God wants, you know, um, but, you know, my, my thing is to replicate, duplicate mm -hmm. business, you know, in others, you know, because mm -hmm. it's not about us. You know, it's about everybody winning, right? That's right. You know, if, if you got it all for yourself, then what is it for? If God blesses you, It's not just for you. That's it's it. for everybody. Amen. So, you know, why keep it to yourself when you can duplicate and replicate this thing? It's about expansion. Isn't that key? That's kingdom. Conquering the territory. Yeah, I'm really, yeah, in my heart right now. Um, Yeah, because that's what I'm about. Because I said, uh, that's why I'm always putting people, trying to put people before and help people out because I I don't want to be lonely at the top. That's good. When I have your family, your friends, with everybody is successful and we can touch the nation touch the world so powerful you know it, i ain't gonna go into well it. that's the, well that's the vision and so mm -hmm. when you you know what's piggybacking off what she said um conquering the land that's what we're talking about mm -hmm. territory mm -hmm. um as you expand your influence expand so that means that whatever you conquer starts to look like you mm -hmm. that's what a kingdom is it is a kingdom sets up Um, legislation, uh, it becomes uh, uh, an entity, nation, whatever you want to call it, and its citizens start to model after the king. Mm -hmm. And that is the whole intent uh, that Christ, I believe, intended even on, you know, for all of us. So we're carrying that now. Uh, and so as God gives us the, uh, you know, I always call it overflow because that's what, it's, what it is. As God gives us the overflow, mm -hmm. um, we're definitely going to make sure that we do what God has intended us to do. He wants us to be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. That's not just, you know, in, you know, having a lot, but it's also giving a lot. Mm -hmm. That's what it means uh, to be fruitful and multiply. If I'm multiplying, it's because uh, I have sown <laughs> and I'm reaping. Right, mm -hmm. you got to sow. Sow means to give. You have to be able to give in order to reap a harvest. And so, uh, the harvest is more so uh, for God to get the glory. And both of us, uh, uh, you know, made this uh, declaration in the beginning of our marriage that God will get the glory out of everything that we do, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. We're not going to take any credit for what God is doing, uh, but we are going to be—I call it billboards. We're going to be billboards for the Lord. 
Mm. What does your billboard look like when you come out of your house? Mm. What does your billboard say? Mm -hmm. Because that billboard is going to either draw people to you or drive them away. And so when you have that in your mind, you know, at, at, at home, you don't have to be a billboard. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be. I can put my billboard down because I'm in my safe place. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I step out of the side of those doors, my billboard goes up. And so that's one thing that, that we we you know we keep very close to us. We want to represent Christ well. Mm -hmm. So and, and, and not just, you know, for the cameras, but we want it to be real because that's the only way people are going to be transformed. Mm. You know what? I can get it right there. You know, I salute. Thank for one. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Green, y'all have impacted my life so much. Listen, y'all, y'all don't even want to know what happened 10 minutes walking in this place. <laughs> but we had a good time. I'll tell you that. Um, so I salute the divinity in both of you all, and we will see you next time on the Mr. Think Smart Show. Yeah, appreciate you. Can I say one more thing, Mr. Think Smart? Come on here. Uh, I want to say this to Mr. Think Smart. Oh, here we go. This is <clears throat> uh, definitely your call. And what I love about what's going on with you right now, God's going to begin to expand it even greater. Um, I love uh, the space that God has allowed you to have. And I want to encourage you, Mr. Think Smart, that the world needs to hear what you're carrying. And you've got to continue plowing the land. Mm -hmm. As you begin to plow, God's going to allow um, the seed to be in the ground and people are going to come water it and God's going to add the increase. So I want to encourage you, Mr. Think Smart, keep doing what you do. Um, I've watched you grow uh, from you. Uh, one, you know, uh, one phase of your life where, you know, you were trying to find, figure out what you wanted to be, and what you wanted to do. And uh, it took all of your experiences and the things that you had went through to get to this space now. Uh, one thing I, I, I really honor about you is you are real and everything that you say, uh, you're a product of. And so as you continue to use your influence, uh, my prayer is that God will give you more power, more authority, that he'll begin to increase your influence and authority, that people's lives will be transformed and changed just by an encounter from you. You are a whole encounter, Mr. Think Smart. Hey, thank you. My God today. You're not just a, an experience, you're an encounter. That's what God has placed in you. God's going to change your inside and he's going to change your outside. So that's what I wanted to say. Proud of you. Thank Love you. you. Thank you. Love you all too. Whoa!